The iLearn project in the College of MDS was started because we were looking to pilot the use of iPads and other devices with medical students to see how it would help their learning. MDS were considering purchasing iPads for every single one of their first year medical students um, so they wanted to see whether or not this would actually work. So we purchased six iPads and we purchased several hundred pounds worth of iTunes vouchers. Um, we selected students from first year and fourth year medical degree and from years one and two of the Bachelors of Medical Science. We encouraged them to use the iTunes vouchers to purchase study skills apps, note taking, things like that, but also to purchase app versions of textbooks wherever they were available, including the Oxford Medical Handbooks, which they found useful. And we've just completed the year and we started interviewing the students about their use of the iPads, so we're getting to some qualitative data now. And we found that, sort of against what we thought was going to happen, it's the later years students, the ones that are in clinical placements in hospitals, that have found them most useful. They'll be using them on ward rounds, so instead of carrying around small textbooks with them, they'll have the iPad, so not only can they access their own lecture notes when they're talking to patients and consultants about disease, but they can also quickly search the internet if they want to find out more about a particular topic, which they found really, really helpful. And what one of the really good things we found is that students will recommend to each other lots of different apps and ways to use the iPad that we haven't even thought of. The virtual learning environment is effectively a web portal which provides a suite of online tools for academics to use to communicate with students. Typically a virtual learning environment will be divided up into sections which might correspond to modules and effectively students are getting access to a curated corner of the web where they will find resources which are specific to their topic of study and also to them as a cohort. The current VLE is very old, it's about seven or eight years old now and it's showing its age. It's it's got quite a clunky user interface, people find it hard to use, and that has really limited engagement with the system by staff. Canvas is the new virtual learning environment which is being introduced at the University of Birmingham. It's a very familiar environment, it's very easy to log in and to see exactly what you're supposed to do and where you go to do it. It has very strong mobile and tablet support, so students can access their resources wherever they are using whatever device they have to hand whether that's an iPhone or a desktop PC. Canvas has a built-in video capture facility. It's very simple to record a snippet of video from your webcam. This could be used, for example, to provide feedback to students on exams or on a piece of assessment. It has a very nice web seminar tool built in. This allows staff to very quickly create web seminars online and to invite selected groups of students to that seminar. This will be really good for distance learning and for overseas students, but also for, for groups of students who are spread around the country. Canvas's usability will, we hope, really encourage staff to explore some of the more advanced features of a system. 